Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and today I have another beauty box unboxing for you. My picks for January's latest in beauty. Now we are fastly, fastly, is that a word? We're quickly approaching February. <laughs> We're in the countdown now and I'll also do a whole new box based on the things that they are going to be dropping during February. But they have changed the way they do it. So now, rather than getting a drop pretty much every single day, on Mondays they are doing a drop of roughly five products. So we should be expecting to see quite a few drops in February of some beautiful makeup items. But for this month, the Beauty Saviors, it was a predominantly skincare based product line that they were dropping. There were products such as a new item that is exclusive and it's a pre-mark product and it's exclusive to Latest in Beauty at the moment. Obviously pre-mark stores across the country are closed because of the lockdown. Um, but yeah, so some really exciting things, some wax melts, things that are really, you know, that wellness, mindfulness kind of um, zeitgeist, basically. Um, but yeah, so let's get back to me. <laughs> um, my box, I get just the rolling monthly contract. I know that you can sign up for a full year. There is a promotion on at the moment, which you can do if you would like. I'm tempted. Um, and it's to get a full year for £100, which is a steal. Normally the box is £12.95. Postage is only free if you've subscribed for three months or more. Otherwise, you're actually going to be paying £3.95 postage on top, so it comes out to £16.90. An amazing price point for what you get. If you've not already seen some of my earlier videos, I have had boxes that are worth almost £200. Definitely in excess of £100 normally and definitely far in excess of the £12.95 that I'm currently paying because I've subscribed for more than three months. I'm going to show you what I've got. So, I love these boxes now, they're a bit more sturdy. There's a little bit less of the packing going into these. Um, sometimes that's absolutely fine, other times it's made me a little bit nervous. This time it's absolutely fine. I've got nothing in here that could break or get bashed around at all. Um, so the first thing is this month's Hall of Fame was the Lowe's, Lowe's Rose Illuminating Mask. This is a peel-off mask from Skin Chemists London. It says it will illuminate, rejuvenate and hydrate. Um, I think this is one of the things that it says, it's like, oh, it's worth 49.95, but sometimes like if you're going on the site, you can get this for like a fiver, you literally just pay postage or you get it for a fiver and pay postage on top, so like 10 pounds. Um, I think that they are inflating the price point to make it seem like it's a higher value product not latest in beauty but the brand itself this and dr botanicals seem to be linked and do the same thing so don't know that it's a great deal but i thought may as well get a chance to try the product when it's in a beauty box rather than paying full whack or paying for delivery from them and get it all in the one so i got it to give it a try we'll see how that goes um, the next thing I got, so I actually got a product that's a repeat because I really struggled to pick products that I wanted this month. I didn't really like most of the stuff that came through in the drops. It just wasn't for me, but it's the first month that it's felt like that, so I'm still keen to continue to subscribe. So I got the Polar sunscreen again. Now I believe this is worth £22. Um, so this on its own is worth more than the full price I paid for the box. And this for me is just really great as a face SPF. It does say it's face and body, so you can use it for both. But I just find that it's really easy to use on my face. It doesn't mess with my primer or my foundation. It doesn't make me break out. And some sunscreens do. So yeah, I thought no harm in having an extra one of that. And I got this. Now this also said it was worth a ridiculous amount of money. I'm pretty sure it said it was worth 99 95 um, There's no way that that's true based on the packaging and things it's in. So it says it's a limited edition Bright Me Up Serum. Gel serum with pineapple extract, vitamin C and hyaluronic acid, hydrate and glow. They're doing a really good job to play on some products that are in the market just now. They're really popular. So the pineapple enzyme I believe is in Wishful's Yoko. Hyaluronic acid is just huge across the market. Vitamin C, Ollie Henriksen has been coming out obviously um, hard this year in terms of advertising their vitamin C line, which is actually a really great product, the stuff from Ollie Henriksen. So I do think that it might be a bit more hype than anything else, but it is made in the UK. And again, it's something that I've not tried and it's based in London, which is where I am right now. So I thought it might be worth giving this a try looks like it's only to use at night time. 
So I have a lot of nighttime products just now. Um, the next thing that I chose, now oh, I forgot about this one, is the Push Up Buttocks. This doesn't have a very high value, I can't remember what it was, but I just thought it was worth a try. I've never tried anything like this before. Um, but we've been sitting a lot during lockdown and I just thought, let's see if this makes a difference. So I'll definitely do a review on Agora. Where are you made? It's talking a lot about being eco-certified, but where are you from? Ingredients from organic farming. 99.6% of the ingredients are from natural organ. 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 Origin is the word I meant to say. It's not from organs. I have no idea where this was made though. Oh, Spain. Or the company's from Spain. That's nice. <laughs> Um, I've got a bit of a weird product in here and I don't know if I'll regret choosing this, but I really was struggling. So I went ahead and got this. It's a temporary hair colour and a deep conditioning mask. And this is the actual colour that's supposed to make your hair. Um, it does say it's temporary, that um, I leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes if I want a pastel look. Um, for a more vibrant look, 20 to 30 minutes. And for the boldest look, leave in for up to an hour. It says to rinse the strand to check the colour before doing final rinsing. I feel like that's just like a tip. <laughs> um, and it should fade within two to 10 washes. My thought process is my hair is blonde and this, once it's washed now, will probably just make it very, very ashy blonde, I hope. I just don't want to get stuck with like orange hair because when you think about dyeing my hair red, I want a bit of fun. Um, what are you looking at? Oh, gagged. That is a different colour. Do you see that? That's like a that's a dark blue. Right? Well, it's not what we thought. <laughs> but we'll give it a try. I think this is only worth like £8, something like that. But again, really great deal to get inside this box. I'm excited to do something a bit different. Just need to decide if I'm going to do my roots first because otherwise what might happen is if my hair is like a really ashy blonde, which I really like, and then I do my roots, I'm going to end up with it looking quite brassy in comparison. And I already have to bleach my roots whites because they're so dark. Look at that, I've practically got a balayage at this point, which is actually part of the reason why I was thinking I might keep it and then just maybe sort of balayage it out because I can't be bothered bleaching my hair all the time, especially when we're in and out of lockdown because like, where am I going? <laughs> no one ever sees my hair unless I'm going to Sainsbury's and I'm like, is that what I'm dyeing my hair for now? Taken away from the point of this. And um, the last product I got, which means I can now take these all off my lap, is the Inica Certified Organic Lip Serum. Now, I just like this brand in general. I got the eye cream from them and I really like it. So when I seen that they had another product in this month, I thought definitely wanted to give that a try. So that is something I actually wanted from this month. I think that's the only thing I actually wanted now that I'm putting everything back in the box. It's the only thing I actually wanted from this month. But I'm sure that it is worth more than the entire box was. I'm gonna go ahead and actually just try it right now. I love a lip oil. I love a lip oil. Ooh, she's yellow. Imagine it makes my lips look yellow. I'm not ready for that life. Okay, it smells like Terry's chocolate orange. Is that true? I really think that's true. I'm just gonna oh, try and put it on Oh, I'll look at myself in the camera. Okay, so first of all, I like that glossy look that it gives to my lips. It doesn't feel sticky at all. At all, at all. And it says it will add a splash of shine on top of your lip colour. Well, I don't have any lip colour on. It does also say it has cannabis, sativa, hemp, seed extract, which I didn't know. That's a fun fact. Still don't know why it's yellow. Or why I think it smells like Terry's Shop Orange. But I'm happy. <laughs> so the total value of my box, let's go ahead and guesstimate it. I'm going to guess that this is something in the region of like at least 20 quid. Could be wrong because I didn't look up the value. But we'll go for 20. So 20 plus 22, we'll just call it 40 because it's easier math for me. Plus 50 is 90. Um, I think this was a tenner, so that's a hundred. I said this was like eight, nine, so I'm just gonna call it a tenner for ease of math, so 110. 
I have no idea how much this is actually worth, so I'm gonna go ahead and say it's at least 160 pound in this box, and potentially more of what they value it at. Um, and the Inica stuff alone is worth it for me. I'm so excited for this month's box. There's gonna be a MAC lipstick, it says is a free of color. If it's not Velvet Hitty, I'll be mad. <laughs> I've got high hopes. But basically it's got some really nice stuff in it. It's got the Klee um, highlighter. I think that's how you say it. I've used it before, it's like a cushion one. Some of you might have seen it from Birchbox. I actually got mine from someone who'd had that Birchbox because I didn't have Birchbox at the time. Then I heard about the highlight and I wanted to try it. And it's just like a little cushion pad that you like press on your face. You can only use it with very natural makeup, I'm not gonna lie. It's definitely not like stroby or for people who like things a bit extra. But it's nice and it is like a nice everyday one. So that one's going on there. If it's a different shade from the one I've got, I might just give that a bash as well. It's worth like 22 quid on its own. Obviously 1750 is the value of most of the MAC lipsticks. So you're already quids in if you manage to get both of those things in one box. And that's just two of the items from the like sneak peek <laughs> that they gave us. So definitely keep yourselves um, eyes tuned if you like makeup products for what's gonna be in this month's latest and beauty box. But I hope you liked watching my video. It's been a little while, so sorry if I didn't quite, I don't know, manage to do it normally. <laughs> I don't even know how to say it. I just feel like I've been really weird today. Um, but I hope that you liked watching it anyway. I hope that you're as interested in me and seeing what other people get. <laughs> I'm gonna go and wait and watch other people's videos now. So um, if you liked it, you can always give me a thumbs up. If you wanna see future videos where I'm less tired and possibly more organized, um, you can go ahead and hit subscribe. <laughs> um, and if you've got any comments or if you've got this month's box and you chose different things, or if you've got that hair mask and you've already tried it, comments down below, please. But most importantly, have a lovely day and I hope that you're not too stressed in lockdown. Much love.